you can change anything about yourself, what would it be? Uh, shit. Bigger dick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And I can confirm the Make-A-Wish Foundation denied Trey's request for a bigger piece of male anatomy. Welcome back to Odd Man Sports, the only show that is more interested in Trey Adams' quest for eight and a half inches than Kenny Pickett's. My name, if you don't know by now, you're an idiot, but it's Brandon Perna. And uh, a quick scheduling note, next week is the 100th episode of Odd Man Sports, which isn't nothing. And let's hope this show has a better fate than Betty White, who got, uh, let's just say canceled right before her 100th birthday. I have her book, I can make that joke. And in a way, Betty White's life was kind of like Champ Bailey's interception of Tom Brady in the 2006 playoffs. Fires to the right, it is intercepted in the end zone. Up to 10, 15. <laughs> 15, 10, five, did he get there? He's hit out of bounds at the one. Anyways, for our 100th episode celebration, we've got a very, very special show planned. This week though, uh, not that special. We will take a look at how Tom Brady and Bruce Arians squashed their beef, why NFL coaching wags are a huge turnoff, and how Laramie Tunzel's love of weed changed the entire landscape of the NFL. Also, don't forget this Saturday is the Kentucky Derby, so head over to thegameday.com to enter the Triple Crown giveaway and the chance to win a $100 Visa gift card. Not to mention four tickets to the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont Stakes. Dinks and dogs. The New York Jets, the Giants, Ravens, Chiefs, and Lions were considered the big winners of the 2022 NFL Draft in Las Vegas. The big losers, though? <laughs> All of us who tuned in. Cheeky Boyos. Oh my word. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. This year's Vegas draft was so trashy, I'm surprised Joe Exotic wasn't involved. Oh wait, he was. And while Ed Marinero's rambling Vikings pick got flamed the hardest, that's really ignoring what a total train wreck Wayne Newton announcing the Raiders' third round draft pick was. With the 90th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select... We'll do it together. Oh God, please don't ask Marcus Allen to sing Ebony and Ivory. Oh, please do not ask Marcus Allen to sing Ebony and Ivory with you. Dylan Parham! Oh, thank God. But the craziest third round pick this year was made by the Patriots, who selected UT Chattanooga center Cole Strange. Though they actually took him in the first round. And am I the only one who wondered if this pick was made by Belichick's dog while Bill went to the kitchen? to get a glass of orphan's blood? No? In the fourth round, the Seahawks selected Kobe Bryant, a Cincinnati cornerback whose parents named him after the iconic former Laker. Explained uh, Bryant on growing up, it just means I have to work twice as hard to live up to that name. Which, I don't know, just seems like an unnecessary burden to put on a kid. My parenting tip, Give your kid a name that makes his life easier, not harder, like Major or General. This way, he'll get all the trappings of a lifetime of service without having to spend a day in the military. Yeah, I know. I know Dorzia is always booked on a Friday night, but I was wondering if you could just squeeze me and my wife in. My name? Admiral Perna. Great, thanks, see you at 7.30. On Monday, Draft King Mel Kuyper handed out his annual draft grades with the Ravens and Jets 
being the only teams receiving A's. Of course, fans of those two teams might want to take these grades with a grain of salt because in the words of Bill Tobin. Who in the hell is Mel Kuyper in a way? In my knowledge of him, he's never ever put on a jock strap. He's never been a coach. He's never been a scout. And sure, Kuyper's never been a coach or a scout. But if having worn a jock strap makes you qualified to analyze the draft, these photos on my phone suggest Mel's plenty qualified. Sorry, Mel, uh, I lied when I said I deleted those. The NFL announced on Monday that despite claims by Hugh Jackson, its investigation found no evidence of tanking by the Browns during the 2016 and 2017 seasons, which must have felt bittersweet for the Browns, like a teacher saying, it's not that Timmy doesn't try hard, he does. It's just that he's really, really dumb. And finally, the NFL is in talks with Amazon Prime for the rights to stream a game on Black Friday, which falls the day after Thanksgiving. And while some detractors have wondered if it makes sense to broadcast a game on the biggest shopping day of the year, I actually think it's the perfect day for football because if you want to sell more shitty flat screen TVs, the number one way to do it is to broadcast more NFL games. Money talks? Rumors of the beef between Bruce Arians and Tom Brady have been greatly exaggerated, at least according to a recent story in the Tampa Bay Times with the headline, Bruce Arians is having the time of his life. Said Arians in the story though, Tom just sent me a picture on Sunday. He got a present for me. It's a $50,000 watch. He says he's bringing it to me. Okay, a couple questions. <laughs> One. How does Bruce Arians know the watch costs $50,000? Did Brady include this detail with the gift? Because that would be super weird. Or more likely did Bruce, upon receipt of the watch, go online and Google its value? Which would also be weird, though I admit I probably would have done it too. But that's because I'd be trying to pawn it to pay off my credit card bills. <laughs> bills, plural. But the bigger question here, is Bruce Arians not aware of the old picture of the gift trick? Because guys have been playing this card for decades. This Sunday, moms across America will wake up to breakfast in bed, a bouquet of flowers, and a card with a photo of a sun hat that will never materialize. Because time passes, seasons change, and honey, do you really want me to get you a sun hat in the middle of winter? It makes no sense. Just saying, Bruce, don't throw out your old watch, just in case. Odd man out. There's an old saying, when someone hacks your Twitter and posts a photo of you huffing weed through a gas mask, make lemonade. That may not be the exact wording, but this is exactly what Texans tackle Laramie Tunzel is doing. Six years after the infamous gas mask video surfaced on draft night, dropping Tunzel down to pick 13, Tunzel is selling the video as a one of one NFT with proceeds partially benefiting cannabis criminal justice reform, as well as partially benefiting Laramie Tunzel because Laramie Tunzel will not rest until every person currently locked up in prison for a minor marijuana infraction is free. But also Laramie's gotta make some dough too, cause you know, capitalism, baby. But the biggest beneficiary of Tunzel's slide in the 2016 draft, the Miami Dolphins who scooped him up with the 13th pick and are still reaping the rewards today. Because after three productive seasons, 
The Dolphins flipped the Pro Bowler along with Kenny Stills to the Houston Texans in exchange for multiple first and second round draft picks. And then the Dolphins used those picks to trade down with the desperate 49ers to acquire even more picks, which Miami used to draft Jalen Waddell and overwhelm the Chiefs in a trade for Tyreek Hill. Pretty damn good return, not to mention a shocking amount of things set in motion by a teenager who dared to ask the question, how can I make this bong rip even stronger? Now, am I going to bid on the Tunzel NFT? No, but only because I'm saving up for when another former dolphin decides to mint a NFT of his most embarrassing moment. I talked to my man Terrell Buckley last week in Miami. He was on a bye week, by the way, playing golf. He told me that defense is blocked. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. Dan Marino is the best example of why weed should absolutely be legal. And in some extreme cases, like Dan's, maybe even required. I'm also working on my own NFT company, starting with Trey Adams' wish for a bigger penis and Chris Jones' penis falling out at the NFL Combine a few years ago. My angle, athletes and their penises. Please let me know in the comments which athlete penis moment is your favorite and maybe you'll see it as an NFT soon. All right, guys, that's it for today. Episode 99 is in the books. Make sure to tune in next week for the big one. Also, a reminder to head over to the Wanna Bet YouTube channel where the game day is challenging fans across the country to see how far they'll go to earn some cash. All right, this show is over now. Odd Man Sports. It's in the game.